Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BSV TV. I'm your host, Sir Toshi, and on this show, we'll be defending the one and only truly genuine Bitcoin. The Bitcoin that Satoshi Nakamoto designed in his white paper as a peer to peer electronic cash system for the world. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. So all the statements that you hear on this show are opinion and must only ever be taken as opinion. They are never to be taken as any form of advice, family, financial, sexual or otherwise. And on that note, let's sit back, relax, have some fun and enjoy the show. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and set your own fee on Streamanity. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wasn't asked why I'm convinced. Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit, he signed in my presence uh, the private, using the private key from block one, block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. At Enchain, we've just funded a number of universities doing, so far, a test up to one gigabyte because it validates what we've already done independently. We've tested up to 380 gigabyte blocks. We have tested 1 million transactions a second and transaction sizes up to 20 megabytes. Super complex scripts, basically ones that can run operating systems. That's basically all of global commerce times about 50. On top of that, we can have complex scripts. On top of that, we can scale each of those transactions 1000 times, which effectively means about a billion transactions per second, which means we can then have all derivatives, all complex trades. That means high frequency trading. It means everything that happens globally. Is the market that effectively BSV is going for, is that global e-commerce, which is currently valued at $29 trillion? No, that's just more. Buy and sell Bitcoin instantly at bsvgravity.com. And you can now book and pay for your winter holiday at skibsv.com. Good afternoon, everybody. It looks like we are live at five once again, my favorite part of the afternoon. Rock and roll. Let's jump into these figures. This is the crypto forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network. Uh, I've not seen these figures today yet, so this is the first time I'm light laying my eyes on them. Looks like we've had a bit of a price drop there. Uh, but we have got Bitcoin with 1% of the hash rate, Bcrash 1.2, CoreCoin 97.9. Network node, same as the ever worse since the 15th of November 2018. Bitcoin 2.4, Bcrash 10.5, and CoreCoin 87.1. Transactions, Bitcoin winning, although just by a slight margin, 50.5% of the overall transactions on the Bitcoin network, 2.8 for Bcrash and 46.7 for CoreCoin. Block size, oh, it looks like CoreCoin's just winning for whatever reason. Got 46.9 on Bitcoin, 3.4 for uh, Bcrash and 49.7 for CoreCoin. But those figures on CoreCoin and Bcrash are totally irrelevant because those coins are fundamentally worthless. <laughs> so let's play spot the biggest block on Bcrash. I can see a, a 243284508. Be lucky to get anything past that, I think. That might be it. That might be Bcrash scraping just over half a megabyte. Good grief. <clears throat> And you would think how much of a head start they had on Bitcoin as well. Crazy. And we've got CoreCoin over here with their one megabyte restriction. <laughs> well done to them. Uh, let's see what we've got going on on Bitcoin. I can see a 14 megabyte block by Huobi. Straight out of the blocks. Uh, we've got, yeah, 9.2 from Tau. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty juicy size blocks there. Added them all up, I think we would probably still have more than CoreCoin, way more than Bcrash. Uh, let's have a look on Bcrash for lulls while we're here. <laughs> We've got 3,519 blocks mined on this piece of crap. <clears throat> We've got Amory's coin in uh, well, orangey yellow. Um, Bitchin' Chain in green, up and down like a horse draws. 
proof of work comparing the two network Amory's coin and uh, and bitchin <laughs> and then we've got the bitchin mining pools we've got ample good to see Hathor on there making all the shitcoin enterprises work for their money Binance showing the hand a little bit BTC top via BTC utter shitcoiners and uh, we've for whatever reason Dutch mining really fancy their hand at, uh, at Amory's chain even though they're ta even though they're paying eight percent of the block reward, I wonder if they even know that. <laughs> Unless they're maybe mates of his, but they're not doing any any favors by having a uh, sixty-two point eight percent of the hash rate on the network. Uh, literally, it's just no point in that at all. So, I mean, look at the size of these the data in the blocks. Absolutely minuscule. Not being used. Absolutely worthless. An absolute joke is all I can say on that one. Literally. <laughs> right, let's uh, carry on with the rest of the graphs then. We've got uh, Bitcoin hash rate by network. Yeah, you know, we'll know that will come with time. Proof of work by uh, network. Again, Bitcoin's just simply going to smash these two when they stop working, when the networks get clogged, and the value of the token that economically sustains the network crashes to zero almost overnight. But they, they're so stupid, they haven't even figured it out yet. Even though they've been in Bitcoin a lot longer than I have. Good grief. <clears throat> this is B crash versus Bitcoin. Oh, don't spoil the party just yet. Uh, B crash versus Bitcoin, which is a proof of work by network. Uh, we've got Bitcoin is 27,000 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than it is CoreCoin because Bitcoin is a genuine peer to peer electronic cash system, not a piece of bullshit, dog shit, crap. <laughs> value by uh, by uh, Blockstream. It is currently 9.7% more profitable to mine on CoreCoin um, than it is. So that shows you the uh, demand for a Bitcoin here. Daily average block size by network. CoreCoin just beating us. Uh, daily average transactions by network. I think we just pipped CoreCoin there. And uh, transactions per block. Oh Yeah, I think we just pipped CoreCoin there. But fees, USD, Bitcoin, absolutely smashing it. Fees, Satoshi's, Bitcoin, absolutely smashing it. Block reward ratio, that will come with time. Proof of work, all chains. I mean, just, just B crashes are laughable. And let's have a look at this. So we've got uh, global hash rate, seven days. Binance macking it hard this week. Uh, pushing BTC.com down into fourth place, followed by Ample. Global hash rate, 24 hours. F2 pool, pool in, Binance up there, Huobi macking it. Oof, be interesting to see what Huobi's uh, got in store for uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Core coin looks similar to uh, Global Hash Rate 7 Days. Uh, Ant pool has been squeezed down to 6th place. BTC.com in 5th, because uh, Huobi and Binance have just scraped into 3rd and 4th. Uh, so this is B crash, similar to what we just looked at. Ant pool macking it hard for whatever reason. Um, Hathor on there, making sure the shitcoin enterprises don't get easy blocks. Uh, BTC top via BTC, BTC.com, don't know what they're doing on there. Binance is on there, absolutely ridiculous. But this is Bitcoin. So Huobi still absolutely macking it hard on Bitcoin with 34%. Uh, squeezing Tal down to 11.8. Um, we've got Mempool, Nordpool, and then uh, oh, Hathor is on there. Getting those easy blocks via BTC F2 pool gesturing. But it looks like other mining pools there is having to keep uh, keep Huobi at bay, possibly. Uh, squeezing out these other miners, but I mean, other mining pools is a huge, as we know. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just uh, turn that off. Would you believe it? That is actually, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll just answer it. This is Captain Bitcoin. Captain Bitcoin! Yo, 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 Toshi, how's it going, buddy? Hey, I'm good, speak up, you're on. Uh, you're live on air. Oh, fantastic, well, hello everyone. What an amazing time <laughs> it is to be in PSV, and what a bumper show we had the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was massive, mate. I'll be finished in about half an hour, so I can give you bell back then. Will do. Speak then. Have a great show, everyone. Au revoir. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <clears throat> there we go. Captain Bitcoin jumping in the show. Great stuff. Good to keep up communications and all that. 
Uh, here we go. So uh, let's have that's a, a coin dance done. <clears throat> Let's have a, a quick look at Bitcoin Blocks Live, see what is going down. Here we go. So uh, for any newbies who are watching this for the first time, the top right hand corner, whoa, what's going on there? Top right hand corner, this is transactions per second on the network. I have seen this as high as 3000 transactions per network, bearing in mind that this is live. So uh, uh, again, it looks like we've got uh, an app um, broadcasting transactions to the network as we speak, looking extremely healthy indeed. These are the transactions IDs of all the, uh, um, of, well, the ID of all the transactions being broadcast to the nodes on the network. Once they are picked up by the nodes, they are then thrown into the mempool. When they are thrown into the mempool, they are then competed for by the miners on the network who economically sustain it to process that um, uh, transaction, put it into a block and then store it on the blockchain where it is stored immutably forever, where it cannot be cracked, hacked, altered, changed, or deleted. It will be stored forever as a universal source of truth. And in the uh, highlighted box down the bottom here, if ever we sort of scroll over a block, you'll see it change. It gives you the hash number of the block, the block height, mined by who, size, time and date, the transaction count, and the total fees within the block. So in this 14.1 megabyte lot, the fees were $6.42, and they accounted for 5,000 transactions. Uh, it, is a, it is a phenomenal network, and those transactions uh, costs will get lower um, as the network increases, which is just absolutely phenomenal, because miners are actually incentivized to make Bitcoin more valuable to get more people using it, so all their efforts go towards uh, re um, increasing the speed and the scale and reducing the cost of transactions to make Bitcoin more valuable because it is ultimately Bitcoin that they get paid in. Right, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's have a look at um, uh, big, big info charts is this one. So a few metrics here that are just quite interesting to look at, but we are just going to go to uh, active addresses down here. So for any newbies watching the show, we have a richest up here. You can see how many Bitcoin are in each wallet or shit coins are in each wallet. But we are going to look at active addresses and we'll put Ethereum in there for lulls. And we'll do this over three months just so we've got uh, more of a comparison. And oh, and so just along here, we're just, just overtaking a B crash at a moment. But you can see where uh, Bitcoin has been testing on the network it's for uh, the number of uh, wallets that can be created for various activities that can be done on it, like voting. And then... Uh, you can, there are various other boxes you can click on down here, which will give you those metrics as well. You've got transactions, block size, sent from addresses, difficulty, hash rate, price and USD, mining profitability. Yeah, great stuff, similar to the um, uh, charts that we just saw on um, Coindance, actually. There we go. So let's have a look at the shitcoin market. Kind of like bits of red in there at the moment. And a uh, cool coin hovering around $18,400. So uh, let's just have a quick look, see what that's done in the week. Because uh, all these cool coin shit corners were uh, loving it to be over 20000 But it looks like it's kind of like shit its knickers out on the uh, 3rd of December, which was just six days ago. That was the high at uh, 19502 uh, I think that was it. Oh, 19,653. But never mind. It's, a, it's got no fundamental value whatsoever. It is absolutely worthless. I'm only looking at it for lulls. And uh, let's see what's going on with Bitcoin. Here we go. Uh, red, good zone to be buying in right now, personally, if you ask me. Um, so, uh, but let me just show you... Um, where I went in. So just to prove to you that, uh, you know, I'm not like an expert or anything like that. But I went in, is it that, there you go. Um, so let me think, I went in recently. It dipped and then, uh, and then came up a bit. So I went in, oh, it must be just up here. It's about $175 um, that I went in at. Actually, this, this we should be able to see this on the weekly chart. So, um, 175. Oof. 
Yeah, so it must have been around here. That's where I went in, and now we're down there. <laughs> so if it goes up, and I, it did, it did go up a little bit. So I bought in, and then it went up a little bit, and then it just went down again. But you, you know, the fact is, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. It's all about accumulating. You just simply have to go in when you can, because the price might go up, and then you lose out. The fact is, you've got the opportunity to go in, or I had the opportunity to go to go in, and literally pick up Bitcoin that has a fundamental value of forty million dollars for just simply hundred seventy four dollars. <laughs> and uh, any any uh, any Wall Street uh, investor or analyst would say that is an absolute joke. But that's because they do not understand this thing. They don't understand money. Wall Street worships the dirty dollar. And then all they know is dollar and gold. They use gold as a hedge against the dirty dollar. But you know, if you wanna, if you if you need cash because you've lost your job, you then need to sell that gold. Like everybody else will be selling their gold for dirty dollar, so they can spend it. So gold is really just just useless, to be honest with you. Um, you know, because if people need to liquidate stuff because they haven't got any money to spend, like you can't go down the local supermarket and. Take your uh, take your <laughs> take your uh, gold bullion down with you and pay for it over the till. It's not just simply not going to work that way. You need an accounting measure. This is why Bitcoin is the most fantastic, well, the best money the world has ever seen, backed by blockchain technology, which is ultimately the value and of the sovereignty over your own data and security over it as well. It's just absolutely fantastic. So let's have a quick look at uh, Twitter, catch up with uh, what's been going on. Oh, shout out to uh, people in the chat box. I can see Neezy and the Timeline Tourist, which is Sheep No More. Uh, so, uh, oh, tell you what, just before we do this, we'll uh, check out the old metrics. Let's just have a look at I'm Zatoshi. Will Twitter have allowed him to surpass 41.7 followers? Shall we place our bets? Here we go. Who reckons he's still going to be stuck on? Look at, would you believe it? 41.7 followers. I think Twitter have clocked him. They're just simply not going to allow his followers to uh, move above that. So, I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. I mean, they've been caught. They've been caught so badly. So, oh, uh, let's have a quick look at Ruthie's tweet. Here we go. Her pin tweet. Is there going to be more than 850 likes on this one? No, there's a 849. Oh dear, oh dear. At least they, at least they, at least they kept the like there. And just to uh, just to illustrate how much of a joke uh, Blockstream and Corecoin is, would you believe this? So it says here, back to bits. Bitcoin OG says it's time to say sayonara to Satoshi's. What the hell? Absolutely insane. So it says here, a lead cryptographer, the inventor of Hashcash, which is used in the uh, the core coin mining process, says it is time to call time or Satoshis, the units that make up a Bitcoin. <laughs> Why not just simply get rid of Bitcoin? Because we know that that's what their intention is. Excellent. There we go. Right then, peace. Being a good one today. 48 minutes. So uh, we'll leave it there and continue tomorrow. So as ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there. Joy given, same time tomorrow. Catch you later. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and watch the full episode on Streamality for just 20 cents. Go to www.satoshi.tv. See the link in the description below. Bitcoin, one world, one chain. Yeah! One